This your boy Ray coming to you back with another video. Really gonna explain to you that I just this LPNs? The answer is no. I would tell anybody who wants to be an RN to not be an LPN, go for your RN. And you could be an LPN along the way. Just challenge it after you get so far in your program. So I just want to make that statement and that stuff clear. And a lot of places, 90% of the places that you don't make that good of a money at LPN level. But at some places it is. I mean, it can't be 100%. It is. Some places you can make pretty decent money. So is you one of them some places? Quit typing. Now, let me tell you and explain to you who I am. I am Nurse Brandon. A student, a person have not graduated to be an RN yet, but very well on my way into my nursing program to actually have a full understanding, being around nurses all my life. And my family members, immediate family members, mother, grandma, family members, best friends, close friends that are nurses. Uh, been doing the nursing thing, going to school for nursing for a while and getting out and going back in and getting out. This, this is the only time that I really, really just buckled down and sticking with it because I wasn't sticking with it because it's always life situation happening. So I'm a person who graduated from Memphis, Tennessee, Carver High School. Uh, you know about Memphis, it's rough, and that's a rough place, so to be where I'm at is truly amazing by itself. Uh was raised in Carbondale, well, I wouldn't say Carbondale, Carroll, Illinois, a very small rural area, very small. But a very good place to study, had a really good basketball team. Um, went back to Tennessee for a while for one year, graduated, went to UTI in Houston, Texas on a small scholarship, uh, got a degree in automobile diesel and NASCAR, went to South Carolina State University, um, played football, did a lot of things, was a major in nuclear engineering. So... Do I know a little bit? Just a little bit. Not much. But I do know a little. Um, I could definitely tell you I done worked in the workforce for a while as a district manager. I, I started off as a, like everybody else, when it comes into automotive, a mechanic or in a professional world, technician, and became sales guy from a sales guy became a service manager store manager district manager and so far and so on with different companies like Walmart Pet Boys Jiffy Lou TNG did magazines and stuff like that uh, was over 387 stores over one point of time, 4,000 people. Um, I also worked when I was young at a Walgreens and I was a pharmacy tech. Took a test and became a pharmacy tech. Um, Walgreens at one point of time, they just give you a book and let you study while you was a pharmacy tech and you pass, they keep reimburse you and you became a pharmacy tech. How it is today, I don't know. Is it the same way or not? But that's pretty much been the majority of my life. Oh, and also I sold um, phones when I was younger. So I've been around. I know a lot about management. I know a lot about management. I know a lot about cars. But just because I, don't, I know it doesn't mean that I can't learn more because life is all about learning. Once you stop learning, you're dead. Um, also, I would tell you 
never give up on your dream. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Passionate about, again, automotive. I'm also passionate and happy to be an airman. Yes, I'm in the United States Air Force. I am in the greatest Air Force in the nation and I'm proud of it. Uh, am I a person who used to be in it? No. I'm actually still in. Here go my car right here. Let's me know. I'm still in it. Still in it. So I'm, I'm just showing you that no matter what background you come from, who you are, who, what you do in life, you can still find your dream, follow your dream. My dream is to be a CRNA, Certified Registered Nurse Anesthetist, at one point of time in my life. But I can't start off unless I be an RN and work my way up. Um, and this is for people who think that I try to bash them as an LPN. I, I don't bash nobody. I'll give you five reasons not to be it, not because it's a horrible feel. It is a fading feel. I will get into another video about that. But the fade is a long time before it goes away. And the person who could have the associate's degree in the nursing field will be the next victim that either you have a bachelor's degree or you can't get in the hospitals. It is, it's trending that way, but it's very hard to actually be that way. And let me, you know, the, the shortage is what matters. If it wasn't a shortage in nursing, LPN would be gone. But until then and in between then, you can still be a LPN. Um, it's up to you. I don't, like I said, I don't bash it. it it's a lot of stuff that LPNs can't do. And it's not because they're incapable of doing it. But they can do it, and they could probably do it good or better as RNs. But they can't because they scope of practice prevents it. That means that if I'm better than my manager, but I never ran a store, no matter what I do, they're not going to hire me because of one area. And that paper, that degree says everything, you know. So get your paper, get your money. Um, I'm going to see you on another video, but this is this is exactly who I am. And I also day trade. I, I want to put out there two hours a day, day trade, two to four hundred dollars. I get a thousand likes. Give me a thousand likes. I promise you, I'll do how to day trade, a whole video on how to day trade. And I'm not talking about stocks, E-mini, 500 is what I do. Stocks... Options, uh, stuff like that is stuff that you hold your money and then you you buy you buy low, you sell high. I don't care if they go high or low. As long as I pick down and it's going down, I get money. If I pick up and it's going up, I get money. And then at the end of the day, I get to cash it in and I can get my money to me today or maybe the next following day, the longest. So... I personally want to be a nurse because I want to give back and I want to help people and then make good money that I was already making. And that's the that's the truth. And I want to get out of retail. Retail is very hard. It's a lot of numbers. And if you don't make the numbers, you're out the door. If you make the numbers and you get a customer mad, depends on who the customer is, you're out the door. It's very hard, very complicated. Uh, I, I love the job that I do, but it is, it's hard. So me being a nurse would be the best fit for me because I can get paid and know my worth, get paid my worth, and I don't have to worry about how much I need to make for Joe Bro or for whoever. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anything else you need to know about me, put it in the comments, like, share, and subscribe. And I will come to you with another video. Have a good one.